Hello everyone, I wanted to make a quick uh, tutorial on how to make this kind of image right here. It's it's like a dispersion splatter effect that's pretty popular right now and everyone wants to know and how to do it. And it's pretty easy, you can do it in three layers and it's fun and once you learn how to do it you can kind of play around with it and you know make it your own thing and uh, have fun with it. So I know there's, I'm, I'm gonna show you one way on how to do it, I know there's a couple ways but um, I don't know. What I've found is this way is pretty easy and kind of intuitive to learn. So uh, let's see what we got. So here's the image we want to make, and here's our original image here. So this is a picture I took a little bit ago, and um, yeah, let's make it fun. So zoom out here, and first thing we want to do is make a duplicate of our background layer. So hit uh, Control J a couple times and get a couple copies of that. And I'm going to close this out because my computer is going to crash if I keep that open. I think. All right. Let's. Um, <clears throat> so with our one of our copies selected, we can start a couple ways. But let's first. We need our background layer isolated. So we need a layer of just background and no model. So grab a lasso tool and just delete delete her so we just have a background so it looks it looks like when the splatter is there we can see right through her does that make sense and just use the content aware fill that's shift f5 to do this and if you don't have content aware just use your clone stamp tool and stamp stamp the model out and kind of keep the tones even and I'm sorry if you're seeing this like it looks like there's like uh, pixelation along here I don't see it on my screen but I think you see it but uh, it's just a crappy screen recorder. <clears throat> but okay, so there's our background that we can work from. It's not perfect, but it's good. So what we want to do now is select our model and make a couple layers of her. So grab your magic wand tool, just and that's the W key. If you don't have it, you quick or the uh, quick selection is what we want, and then just paint in the selection you want, which is her. Grab the shoes and the feet and skin and you know and masking you can make as perfect or imperfect as you want doesn't matter I want to make this quick so we'll make it simple but okay with our model selected what we want to do is hit Control J again now with her selected it'll bring only her to the next layer up so and that's what we want so hit Control J and there she is so if we hit alt click on this eyeball here we can see just that layer and that's what we want and if we alt click again we can bring everything back now we don't want this to show this layer down here by my mouse so uh, make that invisible but we do want a copy of this layer here so hit control J again last time and we have another copy so now we're all set to go and basically here's the meat of the project. So with layer 2, the bottom layer of the copies that we made, go ahead and hit filter liquify and with a big brush just get weird and bring her out in the direction you want the scatter to go. Does that make sense? So we want her to scatter out this way so just get crazy. And, oh my gosh she looks so weird. It's my ideal woman. Alright click OK we'll let this render and um, it doesn't matter how it looks just get her off to that side and we're gonna mask her out anyways so with that layer selected click the uh, the layer mask icon down here and it's filled with white now so just hit control I to invert that <clears throat> and hide her so that's good so now with that done let's go up to our other layer that we made and make another mask. So with that one white, we're, what we're going to do now is paint in the splatter with our brushes. So I have it all selected already, but if you don't, go up here to the brushes, load your splatter brushes, and if you don't have any, you can use square brushes, it looks pretty cool if you mess with the settings, but just click load brushes from a set you've downloaded or whatever. And um, I don't know, maybe in another tutorial I'll help you find some of those, but uh, Okay, with our brush selected, we're good to go. 
change the size with their bracket keys. So we want about that size. And then just click. Make sure you have black as your foreground color. And then just click around. And don't click and drag because you'll make it look, you know, weird and like a pattern. So I hit Control Z to undo that. Just to make uh, variations, just grab another brush, you know, and then click again. And then you can bring up your brush palette even, kind of change the direction and, you know, just make it look, uh, you know, to your liking. So I'll change the size, click again, and just make this look uh, however you want. As little or as much, and I'm going to click this for a bit. I keep selecting the same brush, I think. I don't know why I'm attracted to that one. Let's do, I don't know, this one. Change the direction. And I, I know I just did what I said not to do, but I'm trying to make this quick. Oh my god, too much. Control Z. And small ones on her face, because I want her face to, whoops, Zoom in, zoom out. All right, uh, so that's okay, and it's not great, but you get the idea. And basically, with this other layer, we want to do the same thing, just opposite. So on the black, we want to paint with white. So grab your brush, uh, hit these arrows to switch them out, or hit X as your shortcut to switch those out, and then just click again and paint. So basically, that's it. And we're what we're doing is revealing. Oh, control Z. Revealing that layer we liquefied and um, making that layer show up. So if you if you want to see, you can alt click on the mask to kind of see what you're doing. So I hit I click and I paint with white and it reveals that layer. So um, kind of adjust here, get a look that we want. Make it big, splatter out. Let's see what else we got. Um, I, I don't like too much about her face. And if you want these colors to be different, just go ahead and go back here and, you know, filter. You can liquefy again and adjust this to how you want. And those colors will shift uh, independent of the mask. So. That's kind of neat. So just click, oops, control Z, Z. Make sure you're on your uh, mask. And uh, there we go. And if you if you want to kind of tone it back, just paint with black again to cover up what you think you made a mistake on. And you can c start, you know, reducing the effect in certain places and enhancing it. And I, I want to get in here with her interface because I want her to face you be able to see. So that looks okay. And basically there we go. That's kind of the look we were going for in a couple of simple steps. A couple of layers and a couple of lighter mask and paintbrush. And that's kind of the effect we get. So I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions let me know and uh, I want to make some more of these kind of uh, projects in the future. So uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.